Hi, this is Jim Zuber with Quality Logic. I'd like to share with you an abridged snippet from our OpenAVR 2.0 workshop. This session covers OpenAVR's event object. The event object is at the core of OpenAVR 2.0 functionality. It is what contains the key information about a demand response event. An event applies to a specific DR program called a market context in OpenADR. An event targets some or all of the resources that are associated with event. An event has a well-defined start time and duration. And an event has one or more signals, such as pricing, that trigger pre-programmed strategies when received by event. It is this notion of events triggering pre-programmed strategies that is at the heart of OpenADR 2.0 demand response model. This slide illustrates the characteristics of the OpenADR event object. Each event has a well-defined start time and duration and an effective end time. Events may have durations to that describe how the load shed associated with an event ramps up at the start of an event or recovers at the end of an event. Events can also optionally define a randomization window, which requires each event to randomly select a start time within the window so that devices do not initiate their load shed at the same instant in time. Events move through states, starting with a far state, transitioning to the near state if a ramp-up period is defined, and then to the active state while the event is executing. Events can have multiple signals with one or more time intervals. Inside each time interval is an actionable value, shown here as the numbers 1 and 2 in the second signal. These numbers might represent moderate and high load shed respectively for each time interval shown. Information about the event is contained in five groups within the event object. The event descriptor contains metadata about the event, such as the DR program name and a unique ID to track the event. The active period defines the overall event timing characteristics, such as the start time and the duration of the event. The event signals themselves contain interval data with actionable values. Event baselines provide additional historical information that the event can use to help make decisions about participating in the event. And finally, targeting information conveys the intended recipient of the event, such as all water pumps in a particular geographic area. I hope you enjoyed this brief snapshot of our OpenADR training class and that you can join us at a future training session.